Hello, Reading community. My name is Curtis Martin, and I am your District Medical Director. In this week's weekly message, we will be honoring Dr. Martin Luther King and showing you some of the work that we've been doing throughout our district. I also want to share with you the importance of Martin Luther King to me and the work that I do here and that we all do here in the Reddit community. When I think about Martin Luther King and his vision and his dream, I think about how the MECO program and the town of Reading and other towns came together to live out his dream, his dream of all children of different races, different religions, growing up together, going to school together, and getting to know each other. Through this, in these genuine relationships that are being built, you're able to judge a person on the content of their character. So I wanna to say to you all, happy MLK Day, and check out some of the fun stuff that we're doing across the district. Hello, my name is Sarah Marchant and I'm the proud principal of Coolidge Middle School here with you today to share some of the things we're doing this week and beyond to celebrate MLK and his messages. The holiday is a reminder to educate and celebrate the work of Dr. Martin Luther King. We use it as an opportunity to educate our students about his legacy and his impact, including how he fought for the equality of many groups, both through the civil rights movement as well as for women's rights, as well as the rights of the economically disadvantaged. We strive for students to internalize his message of equality and peace, and to reflect on those in their own lives and in the current world we live in. We do so this week through building-based education and celebration. I've, I did my own morning announcements one morning, but more impactfully, students have been choosing their own quotes to share, written by Martin Luther King, and they have read those on the morning announcements. We've done advisory activities as well as classroom and team lessons. Here is one of our students reading one of her quotes. I should give her a little more time. Two more of our students. Picture of some advisory activities team activities, and taking a step more broadly away from MLK Day specifically, um, we look at Coolidge to send the messages that MLK stood for and to integrate these into our entire school year, including social justice, peace, and empathy. We do so through advisory activities that focus on identity, community, power, and social justice. We do so through recurring messages about belonging, the visuals that we have around the school about inclusion, and curriculum resources that we're always working to improve so that they reflect the identities of all of our students. We want students to feel welcome, to feel empowered, to feel seen, heard, and reflected and the poster on the right was made by our Unity, Equity, and Diversity group last year. In the words of Dr. King, our lives begin to end the day we become silent about the things that matter. Happy MLK Day! Thank you very much for this opportunity. Hero, peace, freedom, hope, smart, powerful, passionate, boycott, influential, smart, responsible, service. Life's most persistent and urgent question is, what are you doing for others? Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said this to an audience in Montgomery, Alabama in 1957, and it still rings true today and every day. 
Dr. King taught the importance of serving, serving others. In his honor, many communities celebrate Martin Luther King Jr. Day with a day of service. Legislation was signed in 1983, creating a federal holiday marking the birthday of Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. This federal holiday was first observed in 1986. In 1994, Congress passed the King Holiday and Service Act, des des designating the Martin Luther King Jr. federal holiday as a national day of service. Taking place each year on the third Monday in January, the MLK Day of Service is the only federal holiday observed as a national day of service, a day on, not a day off. The MLK Day of Service empowers individuals, strengthens communities, bridges barriers, creates solutions to social problems, and moves us closer to Dr. King's vision of a beloved community. Next Monday, we do not have school, but we challenge you to become a part of this day by engaging in your community in some way to serve others. Sydney. I'm Deja. I'm Jeremiah. And I'm Tamir. And, and we, we are, are students of color and allies for equity, justice, and inclusion. inclusion. Celebrating Martin Luther King Day is important to us because this is an opportunity for us to honor a man who fought for desegregation and justice. Our group and many other students like us are a product of what Martin Luther King fought for and we are continuing his work in our school and district by fight, fighting for equity, justice, and inclusion. Hi, my name is Ms. Bailey, and I teach AP Government and Politics at Reading High School. In honor of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and his legacy, two of our government students are going to share their thoughts on King's work and legacy. Hi, my name is Cece Dupont. I'm Solana O'Shea. In honor of Martin Luther King Jr. Day, we're here to talk about why Dr. King's legacy is so important. Dr. King is known for his call for nonviolent protest against segregation and discrimination during the Civil Rights era but he was also fighting for the rights of poor and working class Americans and against US involvement in the Vietnam War. While King preached nonviolence, he also said that sometimes breaking the law, especially if that law was unjust, was necessary. He wrote in his letter from a Birmingham jail where he was imprisoned after leading marches against segregation in Alabama that an unjust law is no law at all. He believed in civil disobedience to bring about change. In that same letter, King also criticized people who told protesters the time wasn't right. Mo moderates who he said were more devoted to order than to justice, who preferred a negative peace, which is the absence of tension, to a positive peace, which is the presence of justice. Although he believed in nonviolence, he still met with a violent end when he was assassinated for his beliefs in activism. Thanks, Cece and Solana. And thank you to everyone watching this video. We know there's a lot of division in America today. And some school districts are discouraging teachers and students from discussing issues of race and equity. I'm so proud to work in Reading Public Schools, where we recognize that creating a just and democratic society necessitates having these hard conversations. The passage from Dr. King that I chose is the following. But I must confess that I am not afraid of the word tension. I have earnestly worked and preached against violent tension, but there is a type of constructive nonviolent tension that is necessary for growth. We must see the need to create the kind of tension in society that will help men to rise from the dark depths of prejudice and racism to the majestic heights of understanding and brotherhood. On Monday, we honor Dr. King's legacy and work. We hope you will join us in continuing the fight for King's vision of a world based on equality and justice. When I think about Martin Luther King and his legacy and the reason why we celebrate the holiday to me, what has resonated over the years has been his inclusivity. Um, you know, really looking out for 
his fellow man, um, you know, while promoting a nonviolent form of uh, resistance and or protest, and really in support of, of equal rights for all. Um, he did so in a way that um, not many people have done and have been able to do it as effectively as, as he did. Um, wonderful orator. Um, and, and to me, his, his speeches are powerful, not only in uh, the way in which they're delivered, but with the substance. And he was obviously a very intelligent man who, um, who really cared about his cause and, and did so in a way that was inclusive and brought other people into it and interested as well. We hope you have a good week. We'll see you again next week. Go Rockets.